Hey, welcome to Discart. Today we're going to talk about three different styles of acrylic case for your game collection, the pros and cons of each one, and whether or not they are right for your wallet. Let's take a look. So the first thing to go over is what is an acrylic case and what is it designed for. I've seen a lot of acrylic cases and plastic cases over the years, especially for things that have been graded and placed into cases forever um, and taken and put it on people's shelves as a centerpiece. But acrylic cases keep coming up as a standard item that people are able to bring into their collections to display their boxed games. Now, of course, that market has even extended beyond boxed games and has gone into just the cartridges and all sorts of different things. I think Bitlounger even makes one for Game Boy Colors or Game Boy Pockets. I'm not sure which one of those but it's really cool to see these acrylic cases getting into all different aspects of the market. Now today I have three different acrylic cases. I'm going to go over each one, the pros and cons of each one, the cost of it, and a little bit of that, that value balance. Now the first case that I have today comes from a company called Collector Protector. Now these guys exclusively sell on eBay from what I have found. I looked for other people who were making this kind of standard case and I was unable to find any websites that were providing it in just kind of its standard category while also putting their name on the product. But when it comes to Collector Protectors box, it's a standard six-sided box with each side being made out of acrylic, a very thick acrylic, and being attached to each other. I'm not exactly sure how they attach acrylic to each other, but I believe it has to do with a chemical reaction when you're replacing two pieces of acrylic together. I may be wrong in that scenario. All the attachment points on this box seem to be very clean. There are no mistakes here. It is crystal clear on all of these corners. I find that this is probably the most clean out of all of today's cases when it comes to attaching these pieces together. Now the big question with these boxes is how do you get the game in there? And it does have a sliding feature on either the top or the bottom depending on how you want to orientate your boxed game. But if you slide it off, you can put your game in there easily. You can take your game out easily. There are no problems with using this. I do think it'll hold up to the test of time. And overall, I think it's a pretty solid design. When it comes to the price of this item, this may be where the cons come in. It's priced at $17.99, but after shipping, that's $24.57. So that is quite a sizable investment to be making on a display item. At least from, from my channel's perspective, I know a lot of people like to stay down in the $10 range when it comes to picking out a display, especially for something that only displays one item. This is completely made out of acrylic and is gonna be designed for that one game that you really love. So I do kind of understand that cost, but again, it is kind of expensive. But I'd have to say that the overall strength of this product is its simplicity. It is a simple box. It does what it says it's gonna do. It has a mechanism to insert and remove the game very easily. There's no over-engineering happening here it's a simple box you could take this and put it on risers on the back side of your shelf you could easily put this on a, a nice rakish 45 degree angle on top of a shelf and have it sit there next to your tv so you can always see that awesome game you can do a lot of stuff with this because it doesn't niche itself into a small category. So needless to say, just this small box being beautiful and highlighting that game is enough for me to find a million different ways to utilize this product. Next up, we have Rose Color Gaming coming in with their Coffin product. They actually call it that. It is the name of the product. They make these for a bunch of different games. I'll show them all on screen so you can get an idea of the different plethora of, of games that you're able to display inside of these. Of course, keep in mind that every case is a different size, so you'll have to be getting different cases for every single kind of game that you're getting. But if you wanted to display, say, all of your games out on a shelf in the same kind of acrylic box, this might be a good way of doing that and utilizing the fact that Rose Colored Gaming is doing it for all of them. It's gonna make it across the board have the same aesthetic. Now I'm sure you've noticed in seeing images of this thing that it is a very odd design and it does have some interesting engineering behind it. Essentially this is six different pieces when it comes in the mail. It mails flat with one piece of bubble wrap on top of it in a cardboard box. Every single piece of acrylic comes with uh, little protectors on each side that you can peel away, and that makes it so it arrives without any scratches, without any issues whatsoever. But the design itself is interlocking, so it's like putting a puzzle together when you do decide to attach this to itself. I will say that putting it together was really easy. There is no issues with putting this together whatsoever. There is no instruction booklet inside of the box. In fact, there is no information whatsoever when it comes to how to use this product inside the box. I would definitely say to Rose Colored Gaming to start putting a piece of paper in there 
notifying people how to use this item. But if you are looking for more information on the product, you can go to Rose Colored Gaming's website to at least find out how to put games in and take them out of this box. Which brings me to my next point. Now, after you've gotten this interlocking design put together, you have these two little edges that have these prongs on them. And these prongs are designed to be slightly pressed in just a slight amount to release the top plate. So essentially you put your game into this and then you pop down the top piece of acrylic onto the top and that seals your game inside much like that of a coffin. The other little piece that comes along in the box along with this is a little key and it'll be marked and annotated with whatever kind of box it's supposed to be. In this case, I'm testing out Super Nintendo boxed games, acrylic boxes, so it says SNES on the key. But this is where the problems really become apparent. Uh, using this key exactly like they say on Rose Color Gaming's website, I was able to break every single side of this box. The two prongs that are meant to be pressed in slightly break if you press just slightly too hard, if you, you wiggle the wrong way, Essentially, this is really hard acrylic plastic that's designed to last the, the test of time. And you're bending these little pieces of plastic and it is very easy to break those. So if you do end up getting this case, I implore you to be incredibly careful, but be ready to break it. I did try to be incredibly careful with every side that I used this key on, yet to no avail, every side broke. So essentially, I would recommend this as a one-time use coffin for your games. I don't think it's a great use if you want to be able to remove a game and put another game in there to display it. Right now, as it sits, the engineering on this is a little bit lacking and needs a little bit of work when it comes to it. Put it on, press it down, wiggle it. Oh yeah, it's a good sound. And anybody who's seen this channel long enough knows that I love Rose Color Gaming. I love their engineering. They do a fantastic job across the board with their, their products. I just think this needs a little bit more engineering to clean it up a little bit. Um, as far as the acrylic box goes and that aesthetic, that's gonna be different depending on who's looking at it. I did a quick Twitter poll a while back on, on different acrylic cases, and a lot of people did like this design as well as other designs. It seems to be 50-50 on whether people like this one or don't like it. But the thing that I don't necessarily agree with when it comes to this acrylic design is that you have extra material between you and the item. When I'm looking at display boxes, I'm looking for something that displays the item the best it possibly can be displayed. And when it comes to these, you have this extra hangover from this interlocking design, this extra engineering that went into this project, and that kind of gets in the way of looking at your product. Sure, it's clear, but it is distorting the actual product that you want to display in your game room. And I think if you take that into direct comparison with the other products that I have on the show today, you'll see that those other products will show the product way better at that angle. But of course, one of the major pros of Rose Color Gaming is that the price is always right for their products. They brought the price of this down to $11.99, and with shipping, it ended up being $17.46, bringing this down to the lowest cost product that we have here on the show today. So this acrylic case really brought on the, the question of value, and it, it's quite confusing because you have a very low price for this product, but you have some engineering that needs to be cleaned up a little bit uh, to make these usable for, for the general population of people who just want to display their games and switch out games often. So it becomes kind of a, a, a catch-22. And then the last acrylic case that we have today comes from a company called BitLounger, and this is their Cart Vault. They have a bunch of Cart Vaults for a bunch of Nintendo systems, as well as even handhelds that they have on there as well. They've been adding things over the years. But this Cart Vault is for SNES games in box. And I'm sure right away you notice that immediately we're seeing the product that is inside of this case. It does a really good job of getting real good clarity when it comes to looking at the item that you want to display. The interesting thing about this design is that it is four pieces. The, the big front and back and the top are actually one big piece that's bent over to give it kind of a curved profile, which adds this kind of premium quality to it overall. I really like the curves on there. I kind of wish that the entire product itself was curved at all the corners. Outside of that top piece that wraps around, the side pieces are also attached. However, you attach acrylic to acrylic, but in this case, there are small imperfections in between the acrylic and the other acrylic that it's attached to. I've noticed some small little micro bubbles that are inside of there uh, that do 
come up visually if you're close enough to the item. Now, of course, if you're like one or two feet away, if you, even just one foot away, you're not gonna be noticing these. But if you look up close, you can see these little white bubbles that are inside of that connection, which I do think they lose some points for that kind of irregularity. But as you pan down to the bottom of the item, you realize that there is actually about an inch raised at the bottom of this. Now, why they decided to go this direction, I am not exactly sure, but I do see a lot of uses for that raised bit. But when you turn it over, you'll see that there's actually a sliding door there. You can pull it to the side, take your game out, put a new game in. You can do whatever you want with this and it'll work just fine. One quick thing that I do want to say is I do worry about the sliding bit at the bottom. It is two pieces of acrylic that have been glued together. I feel like uh, by pulling on the little L part of this sliding door, I may break it at some point. It feels very strong but it's one of those things I keep in mind because I know there's a joint that, that isn't completely attached to this sliding door. But needless to say, that door works great and uh, I've had no issues with putting multiple different games inside of this case. I show it on Discart all the time. I keep it on top of my shelf and I think it looks quite premium. Which brings me to the just the overall aesthetic of the item. I think a lot of people, uh, depending on who you're, you are and what you wanna do with these things, you're gonna decide either to get this or not to get this based on that bottom bit. Uh, that little raised bit. I do think there's a case to be made for that bottom bit being raised. You can put items in the front. It does make it have a higher profile overall, but it is space that is taken up not by the game. It's not displaying the game. All it is is a riser. So it's really gonna be up to you whether you want a riser on this or not. If you don't want a riser, you may end up going with you know the first acrylic stand or the, the second acrylic stand that we talked about today. But the price of this ends up being $17 and with shipping and everything, it ends up being $23.95. But again, when it comes to display, I know a lot of people like to be in that $10 price point area and maybe an acrylic case just isn't for you. This may be for that person who has their favorite game of all time and wants to put it in an awesome acrylic box and wrap it up and put it up on your shelf. But for those of you who don't want an acrylic box and want something to protect their stuff, I definitely recommend Retro Protection, who's been making clear plastic protectors forever and makes the best in the business when it comes to that. Their products are fantastic. Definitely check them out. You could easily get one of their, their plastic boxes and pop it onto your game and it's gonna look great on the shelf and clean up a bunch of those edges. So that's all three acrylic display stands that we have today. Really when it comes down to it, it's gonna depend on your aesthetic, what you think of the item, what your value balance is on this item, whether you think it's worth the amount of money that it is for whatever games that you have. It's gonna come down to you and, and choosing just based on those items. So what do you think? Is there one of these that you think is the best but maybe you're not purchasing it or you are gonna get one? Let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking for those responses and seeing what you guys are thinking when it comes to displaying items in your game room. If you're looking for other ways to display things in your game room, you can always type in the item and discard right afterwards to see if I have a video available for it. More than likely I do. So go ahead and check that out. I also have a playlist available with all the display ideas that I have had so far and that you can also find on the YouTube page as well. But if you like this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Otherwise, have a great day. Collect what you love.